Okay, <clears throat> now you want to turn to, uh, or not turn to, but focus on the part of your graphic organizer that says the way it used to be. It's really difficult, <coughs> excuse me, to understand some of the crazy things we do in our election process now if you don't have some of the history from the way that we used to elect a president. So 1968 was the final election that our old system was in place. And so I've pulled up the electoral map so you can see what it looks like. You notice you had three candidates. Uh, Richard Nixon was the Republican who was running. Hubert Humphrey was the Democrat who was running. And George Wallace is an independent. And so this electoral map shows you what electoral votes were won. So prior to that, right, Hubert Humphrey, we're going to focus solely on the Democratic National Convention. And so remember a convention is where uh, these kind of people are going to go and we're going to be formally choosing a presidential and vice presidential candidate, and we're going to be voting on a party platform. So if you notice, if you look around, you see lots of different kinds of people. Well, up until 1968, up through 1968, regular people were not allowed to be delegates to the National Convention. I have these visions in my mind of like old white guys wearing suits, smoking cigars, and it's not necessarily like that, but People that were allowed to go to the convention um, typically were part of the party machine. They were party bosses, they were elites, they were big donors. It was not an opportunity for average people to go. Understand though, that it had always been that way. So if you go back and look at this map, um, you might remember up until like in 1964, uh, LBJ was president, he was the Democratic nominee, and Hubert Humphrey was his vice president. LBJ decides not to run. Um, he's upset with Vietnam, everything that's happening. He decides he's done. So even though he could have run another term, he chooses not to. Well, 1968, we have the anti-war movement. We're coming off the civil rights movement. Um, there's a lot of change and things going on in our country. And actually, a guy named Eugene McCarthy um, is the candidate that the majority of Democrats around the country had chosen in their primary or caucus competitions. So if I was a person in California and I had gone to cast a ballot in the Democratic nomination process, McCarthy ended up ending a majority. And in fact, Hubert Humphrey was not even on the ballot for many, many voters. He was kind of a last minute thing. But at the convention, they ended up choosing him. So you can see he lost pretty significantly and Richard Nixon won. There was, at that convention, massive rioting. Um, so I'm actually, what I'm going to do, there was massive rioting, um, there was protests, people were really angry because these delegate people had chosen someone that the people, the regular voters, had never chosen. So again, I want to stress to you, this is not new. This is something that had happened many, many times in our history that was actually really common. But 1968 is different, right? We have truly enfranchised people. We have had the Voting Rights Act. We have passed the 24th Amendment to get rid of the poll tax. And um, we have the feminist movement. We are actively supporting the rights of people. And here, the fat cat people, the delegates that go to the Democratic Convention, don't protect the rights of the people. So next, you guys are going to watch a clip that's going to kind of show you what happened at the convention, um, just to give you a little bit more context. 